me, dance is like freedom. But like you can do whatever you want with dance. No one can tell you anything. Just you feel the music in you. You just like gotta move to it. Well, the definition that we teach in the classroom is the art form that uses time, space, um, and energy. But I think, in addition to that, it's, it's really um, exploring movement and using movement as a creative outlet to express an idea or express an image or express meaning. Sometimes there's dance just for the sake of dance, movement for the sake of movement, but I think that in general, um, it's using movement to, to express something, one thing or another, whether it's a movement theme or a story-based theme. Well, dancing to me is like having freedom and like how what other people don't have and it's saying that if I get angry at myself, I can just express myself by dancing either like in my backyard, in my room, and it tells other people that like how do I feel and they can see how my how and my emotions are. inspiration was my first ballet teacher. His name was Alan Baker. Um, he was really inspiring to me. He danced overseas and was a professional dancer over um, in Europe, but one of the reasons that he was so inspiring to me is because my family um, actually tried to pull me out of dancing when my father lost his job when I was really young and so I couldn't afford to continue dancing and he offered to keep me in the class um, free of charge and gave me free training for several years until my family could get back on our feet. Um, so that was my initial inspiration. I had several other teachers that inspired me throughout college, but now I would say my inspiration is honestly my students because they bring me so many fresh, um, fresh and new ideas um, into the classroom each day and I'm just continually inspired by what they bring into the, into the classroom and um, what they do for me as a dancer, as a choreographer, and as an artist. My inspirations are my friends because when I dance, they have the reactions of me like, oh my god, he's so good, and it makes me feel good, and they're my, like, my supporters, and it's just really good to make people smile and have, they have them know that I'm a good dancer. Uh, my inspiration was Marquis Scott after I saw that video, um, I think Louder, it's called Louder Dubstep. After I saw that, I had to dance, and a couple days ago I met him, I just like, we just went crazy, we were like dancing all night. Once I met him, he just told me like, don't give up, just, it's gonna take you far. And so far, I've still been dancing. Uh, dance has done a lot for me. First of all, it's provided me with a career opportunity. Uh, when I was going through college, it was hard for me to figure out what exactly I wanted to do, and I knew that I had to do something um, that I was passionate about and that I was really engaged in, and dance was that for me. So I went ahead and took that career path, um, received my degree in dance education, and I've been at Maryville since 2005 for the past, I guess, eight or nine years at this point. Um, but I think that dance does a lot a lot for anybody that's involved in it, including myself. I think that it enhances um, problem-solving skills and critical thinking skills as you're creating movement, putting together uh, movement projects, and going through choreographic studies. Um, I think that it enhances social skills because you have the opportunity to work with other people. I think that it gives you um, a positive outlet, um, a creative outlet um, to, to work through different emotions and things that you're going through in your life. Dancing for me is like keeping me away from people who are like doing drugs and just not my type of group to be in. And it's done for me a lot. Like I've been, I've been places that nobody has nobody seen me dance. And like it's been really good, and I've just been good ever since I started dancing.